Hey, what's up guys? This is Oakley, and we're going to be playing on a map that's actually really cool, and I've never played all this before. Apparently, the setting is uh, Mons Regius, I believe. I can't remember where it was. This wasn't hosted by myself. Uh, but anyways, the players are going to be myself over here, uh, over on the right, and I'll put this on slow motion just so we can go over the factions. And on the left is going to be another Roman force led by Sunjetsu. He's also a YouTuber, so uh, you can check out his channel. And then over on this side, we're going to have 50 Bomb as Macedon. And then Indie Pride, who is again another YouTuber, uh, a good player. He does a lot of cool stuff. And he's going to be over here playing as the Nervi. So anyways, let's go ahead and look at our forces from the get-go. So I'm deploying a little army over here, or a portion of my force, over to secure this sort of a cross-section in the villages. And I'm going to put sort of three, uh, two Triari backed up by Auxilians here in Archers, two Gladiators, and a Veteran Legionnaire. So I'm going to try and lead this charge with heavy units such as uh, Triari. My intention was to, to, to bring in these staying power units and then bring some killing power in the form of Syrian archers and then also gladiators. And in the back I have auxiliary cav pushing on that side and then I have some more reserves here. The main idea for my build right now was it was a little goofy. I just wanted to bring a lot of gladiators and see if I could pull this off. So again leading this charge is going to be one group of Triari and then uh, of these gladiatrices in the back so I have a lot of these um, gladiator units I just wanted to see how they would work out you know can the compensation of having more killing power but less armor does that really pay off with Rome so I wanted to just check that out and I'm just gonna group these guys in a big sort of a hammer blow that's gonna be pushing through the center and I'm gonna try and force Indy back while in the meantime I secure this front I'm trying to be pretty aggressive because you can see Macedon is gonna be deploying up here with that, he has a big line of these Cretan archers, back that up with another line of Thoric Swordsman, back that up with another line of Peltas, and then in the back you have Hoplites. So a pretty hefty build. Um, so I have to break through all these fronts, and that's going to be a little troublesome, it, as it turns out, for my gladiators who are not very good at taking hits from archers and Peltas. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. And now on this front, I'm just trying to ward off the opponents by deploying two cavalry here. And then also my Triari can help hold off this choke point. And I'm just trying to buy time as I'm pushing forward on this front. And I spot a gap between our opponents. And that's where I'm going to just fling in my Saki Extraordinary right through this gap. And we're going to continue to push this front. Let's go ahead and look at the army composition here. My ally has brought actually some Gladiatrices as well. Back that up with some Syrian Archers. And then his main line is going to be composed of these Veteran and Legionary Cohort troops in the front. And then he has all his Cav. Equites, who are not super good, well, at least two legionary cap, pushing this front. So we have a big combined mass that's going to be just striking a blow through the center. And we really want to force Indy back and be able to collapse on Macedon while I hold this flank and just get on the shots. So you can see I'm already causing a pretty good amount of disruption because I'm swinging my cavalry through here to force his guys back. In the meantime, I get some free shots with my own Syrians. So you can see some of those arrows starting to come in here and rain down on these uh, Cretan archers. So that's far. Basically, there's been no main upfront contact between the two units, and I've been able to scrape away a couple kills on these Cretan archers. So let's see, this one is down by three, and uh, yeah, just minor damage that I'm starting to uh, to be able to deal uh, to my opponent, especially up close with his Thoric Storm. I'm trying to bait them into these Triari. My own Triari is starting to lose out on some uh, some forces. That's okay. I just wanted to bait my opponent out and really cause a gap in his formation. His own swordsmen here are going to expose themselves to some flanking shots from my guys. And I'm really just trying to blow open some holes in his front line to allow my guys to just pour in. And that's going to be what these guys are. I want them to be sort of infiltrator, uh, kill all units who want to break. I mean, once you can get past the exterior armor and the exterior, you know, heavily armored lines of your opponent, if these guys can get into the... Uh, the soft underbelly of your force, they'll just cut it to pieces. So that's what I was trying to do with these guys. Find a place to just send them. So I'm going to try and do that just here. Do a lot of damage to this front line. And just have this beefy unit of Triari hold this front because that's what they're good at doing. You know, take all the Archer Fire, all the Thorax Swordsman and just pull that in. I'm going to try and expose a, a, a place right there where I can charge in. And on this front, I'm going to be sending for this massive uh, force here. I knew Indy didn't have any skirmishers, so I didn't have to worry too much about that. And I was just going to lead the charge right... Th oh, actually, it turns out he does. They're just going to be hit, hit, uh, hidden, so that's going to be a problem for me. So I'm going to just try and lead the charge, and I was hoping Sanjetsu would follow with me, and I'm going to try and push through that gap right there. Over on the right, however, I do have to be uh, wary of this counterattack, and that can do a lot of damage to me, potentially. So there we go, charging in with... Let's go ahead and put this on play. Charging forward with my veteran legionaries, and as I said, these guys are going to just flow through the gaps, so I've created a nice big open gap through here, and I tried to push through. However, he's pulling his guys back into shape to try and cover this, and this is where my uh, operation starts to go wrong, is when these guys are held still, 
and his archers can start raining in the fire. Over here, I tried to just pull my guys through the gap, and it does succeed to some degree. And this is where I'm going to be able to charge into his archers, which is going to be a good way to prevent him from really dealing a lot of death and damage to my forces right there. So I do pull one unit right through there, and I'm going to just look at this huge blob that I can start disrupting and damaging. But he's just going to go ahead and retarget all of his forces on my cab, and they're going to melt away. That's going to be a huge problem. However, this guy has been absolutely obliterated. Look at this by my Syrian archers just doing tons and tons of damage so this is how you want to use these guys and I have some res some reserves back here however you know I could only pin down one or two of them at any point in time that's gonna be a huge issue for me and then in the front I'm just continuing to chase back Indy I've taken some decent losses from any of his forces here who decide to stand still so these Gallic hunters for instance and the problem at this point is Sanjetsu is not properly following up on this you can see just how I'm forcing Indy back um, but I have no support, so my guys are going to end up uh, enveloped on that, on that front. And over here, I'm also going to end up uh, enveloped as he tries to sneak past my forces. And I don't have enough troops back here to, to be able to hold out and, um, and, uh, and really prevent this from wrapping around my flanks. Now, I am able to catch some of his cavalry here. I'm going to be trying to pull back to my Ontrari, but they're being chased pretty handily by some Thorax swordsmen. And in this position here... My gladiators have not been able to infiltrate the line. And my cavalry force that pulled in through here, they just got absolutely wrecked. So that's some of the issues you have of the latest patch. Is this huge beefy unit of like that I thought would be like a squishy group of uh, peltas and archers is anything but that. They can just turn and obliterate your guys. So you need more forces for sure. So here I am. Um, sort of holding up my opponent's general with some Thessalians, but he's going to get in here, get some nice kills on both my archer units. Uh, I'm going to get some counter charge with my cavalry, so this may go either way, but he's knocking out my most uh, uh, prized possessions, the Syrian archers, that I really, really need to be kept alive. Go ahead and put this back on slow motion. So that's going to leave his archers uncontested. He's tying up all my cav. I can't retaliate with my own cav. And here, look at this. My gladiators did absolutely nothing. The second they stood still, they withered away. So I really, really, really needed some disruption here. I wish um, these guys would have sent some cavalry. He had some spare cavalry. I should have probably signaled on the can on the map to tell him to send forces through here and just pincer this army. That would have obliterated this front. And in the center, I'm getting absolutely no support. I mean, I have all my guys engaged on the front here, and they're just in this fight. But uh, my opponent, uh, Indy Pride, is doing a good job of just sticking all his forces here. And look at this, all his Gallic hunters. They're going to be positioned at a perfect place where they can just get some cross shots if they need to into my gladiators. They were doing that before and now they're going to be starting to target some of my other gladiators here who are not properly engaged. And I'm going to be uh, sort of trying to brace for a mighty horse charge but as their name implies uh, this is going to make for a mighty charge. So this is kind of the fate of the gladiators uh, which is kind of interesting because we're sort of maybe emulating a, a Spartacus force here against maybe the, the Nervi. So this is an interesting battle, and I'm starting to, you know, force some of them back because I was able to threaten this with my Saki. Um, Sanjutsu ended up not supplying enough reinforcements here, and we got back charged, so he's going to respond to that. And I guess he's just waiting for my guys to expend themselves, as any good Roman general should do. Let the, the slaves and the, uh, the, the weaker army, let it expend itself, and then we'll come and clean up. So I do get a decent charge in here, but again, we're going to see the staying power of the Peltas and just what they can do when they decide to turn and face us. So you can see my guys just getting killed. So I, what I decided to do is I was going to try and break open the floodgates here and allow my allies' forces to come in here and help me turn the tides here. But they just have too many dudes. And finally, my cavalry were dispatched over there. Even though I was able to beat back some of the cavalry here, they just keep pulling through all of my forces, just absolutely marauding through here, trying to desperately go after my general's bodyguard and just thrashing my back lines. You can see all of my clusters of these gladiators, you know, one here, another one over here, just got absolutely wrecked by the archer fire. So you really have to use those guys, um, I don't know, tactically, of course. Um, and the problem is anytime you face that kind of archer blob, you can't do what I did. Uh, I was expecting to be able to just slip through the front ranks. And when I couldn't do that, I was absolutely just wrecked. Um, so it looks like this kind of uh, gladiator build is just not going to work. But that's fine. We're just doing a fun battle. And it'll be something that, uh, that plays more cinematically than anything else. And let's watch some of these volleys coming forward from them. So they're just unleashing into this mass of men. And it doesn't matter if it's going to hit his own guys. Half of them are going to hit me. Let's watch some of that. So you can see the 
just the, the strength of having so many of these Peltas, they absolutely wrecked a horse force. My god. So I really needed something to better counter that, and because I didn't, that was going to cost me dearly. And so over here my army was obliterated, and look at this, look at all of Indy's uh, archers. They're going to be able to rain hell on the Roman force on this side, that is now finally going to get engaged. And uh, uh, I mean, Sun Jutsu probably should have helped me, uh, help reinforce me a little bit sooner, but at the same time, I you saw my command orders, I just told them to run. Uh, I really should have stayed back and played cautiously, because you can see what happened when I, I, I decided to leave without my ally. Uh, I was obliterated, and I so I, sh I should have just coordinated better with him. And so now it's going to be, um, I'm mostly done. I've been left with a little force here. And I still have some of my general units here. And they're going to try and survive. My archers are going to try and supply some covering fire. And just hopefully they have some good shots and they pick, you know, the right targets here. Because uh, this is going to be what has to save my general. So uh, my opponent's slowly going down. And uh, it looks like I think at this point the opponents were going to start pelting us with some arrows as well. He really wanted to bring down my general who's just barely surviving here. What do I have? Some nine troops. The opponent has five and I finally break them. So there we go. My general is going to rally. And I try and keep him away from these archers who are trying to target them. They're going to be mostly targeting these main blobs here. And now the Nervi are going to be just swarming with their mighty horse all the way around. Let's look at this from the above view. Some Roman horse in the rear ranks to try and uh, protect the back. But look at this. There's no holding that back. Syrians are going to be running back in terror into the center force. But uh, yeah, they're going to get just absolutely massacred. So a really fun battle. A really fun map as well. I, Man, if someone can find the coordinates of this. If uh, Indy, you're watching this. If you could post the coordinates of, or where to find this on campaign map. It's really cool just because of the dynamics you have in playing in and about a village. I hope that's something we see more in Attila Total War. Is maybe more of these maps where you can use uh, this sort of... Uh, playing field as opposed to uh, something where it's just an open battle with maybe dunes or small hills. I really like the ability to play in and around villages, you know, maybe in p even position some small skirmisher force forces in here, archer units and whatnot, maybe even hide some ambushers in here. That could be really cool. And here comes my general. So I'm, I'm down to microing just uh, my general's unit. I'm going to try and land some strikes on the outskirts of the battle. But you can see anytime I get it, wow, anytime I get exposed, that happens. I'm going to get picked off by some archer fire. So my general units is going down. I still have three units left, and I believe my general is still alive. I positioned myself behind this little hut, and I'm just trying to get out of the range of the archers. And uh, here we go. We're going to keep retreating. But this is what I'm uh, what I'm talking about. This small scale running between the 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 the, the huts and into the the streets. This is really cool. And maybe this is what we have to expect from. Uh, oh, that's weird. Maybe this is the kind of scale combat we have to expect from Total War Arena will be, you know, commanding a couple units on this type of scale battlefield, really infiltrating into these little units, uh, into these little um, areas like this. So, you know, maybe role playing a little bit, but now let's get back to the main crush of the battle and uh, not much to speak of of what's going on here. My opponent got fully surrounded when, um, I mean, he deployed against the Macedonian forces. The Macedonian forces held and countered with the archers and Nervi took the opportunity to just absolutely wreck us from all flanks. So well played on our opponent's side. The battle before, we did play on this same map. Uh, I wasn't able to share that with you because uh, Indy was dropped from that game. So we we won, but technically he wasn't actually commanding his forces. Um, so yeah, it didn't really count. But in, in this battle, we we had a, a good one. Let's just watch some of the death of these final legionnaires against uh, an unlikely army of uh, barbarians and Macedonians against Romans. So maybe they're trying to just throw off the yoke of Roman rule and just taking any allies they can get for this battle. We do have some gladiatrices still alive. so. They're kind of kicking ass a little bit up close. They should be able to destroy these um, barbarians who have... Ah, there we go. Starting to get some kills. So here we go. Some woman bringing it to the men. And I hope we get to see uh, an animation of them kicking the men in the balls. That'd be kind of funny. I don't know if they added that. But it was in some of the uh, the promotional trailers for the uh, gladiatrices. Let's watch this lady here. Hoping to see something cool. I think she may go down or this unit is going to route. Because this is this is basically the last one. You can see us getting totally surrounded. Come on, lady. You got this. Oh, man, that sucks. Anyways, yep, we're going to start routing. So that's going to be the final crush. We're going down. Uh, this force. Oh, my God. Actually, it looks like this. this Ev Oh, that. That's why. That explains it. Evocati. Look at that. 162 kills. 163. So we should have brought some more of those units. And I'm still kind of surviving down to the last Triari. I'm going to get surrounded. 
And uh, the Romans here are going to get surrounded. And the best way to deal with Evocati is to keep your distance and just try firing into them. So that's exactly what these Hunters are going to do. So let's watch some of these shots. Yep, straight into the backs of the Romans. The most uh, effective way to deal with a Roman is an arrow in the back. So even even these guys, wow, arrows sticking out of their their mailed armor, and they're still going, still holding the front. So Evocati are definitely the way to go. That guy right there in the middle, arrow sticking out of his elbow, one of his shoulder, and now we're going to get rear charged, so that'll be it. And I think my guys actually are going to be the last force, nobly holding the line. Oh, I really do like some of the spear kills when they finish off units in the back. Let's see if we can get a couple more of those. Nope, just double, triple teaming. And it looks like that's going to be it, so my group finally broke. So a really poor showing on my part. Um, but I guess it just goes to show that uh, you can't really get away with a, uh, a gladiator only army Although I did get a decent amount of kills 1100, but definitely the the least among all the players Trary held together pretty well gladiators not very well Assyrian archers even though they were killed when they were basically at half strength. Um, they still got a lot of kills cavalry doing okay um, Let's see some jetsu. They did pretty good his archers not as well as mine, but uh, yeah his his legionaries definitely did more than me. So I think the strength of Rome is obviously going to reside in its uh, heavy infantry and Indy doing a lot of work uh, himself. Anyways, thanks so much. See you guys next time.